Breaking news, Nigerians. Finally, Asari Dukubo lands in trouble as Navy dares him to review names of military officers engaged in oil theft. The Nigerian Navy has dared the former agitator and Niger Delta leader Asari Dukubo to provide the names of officers involved in crude oil theft. Politics Nigeria reports that Dukubo had earlier made claims stating that the majority of all of oil theft cases in the oil rich region can be traced to the Nigerian Army and Navy. During a briefing with the State House reporters after a closed door meeting with President Bola Tinubu at the Aso Rock Villa, Dukubo said the military is at the center of oil theft and was and we have to make this very clear to the Nigerian public that 99% of oil theft could be traced to the Nigerian military, the army and the navy especially. Responding swiftly to these allegations, Commodore Ayo, the spokesman for the Nigerian navy, dismissed the claims as spurious and or guided. Ayo pointed out that oil thieves were expressing frustration because the Nigerian Navy, alongside the entire military, has been relentlessly preventing the attempt to sabotage the economy through the ongoing operation Daka Tara Da Barawa. Ayo stressed that the Nigerian Navy, in collaboration with relevant stakeholders, we continue to abstract crude oil thieves in their attempt to harm Nigerians' economy. In an interview, he challenged the Kubo to present the names of those involved, asserting that the Navy maintains a zero-tolerance policy towards any form of cr criminality, including the alleged theft mentioned by Asari the Kubo. The Navy spokesperson, the Navy has an operation in the Niger Delta that has been running for over one year plus to crop oil theft operation, da da operation, Daka ta da barawo has denied oil tips more than 76 billion worth of crude oil the money that would have helped them to further increase their legal activities, refineries. So, the Navy is actively fighting oil theft far for anybody to make such allegations. Being, bring the names, he, Dokubo, is in the Niger Delta. He has boys in the Niger Delta. The company that was given a contract by the NNPC on pipeline surveillance, they are working with the Nigerian Navy and Operation Data Save in the Niger Data to crop oil thieves. For somebody to just make such unguided statement, bring the names, you know that there is an operation, Operation Dakada Baruwo, going on in the Niger Data being run by the Nigerian Navy. Since April last year, the Navy has been running it in synergy with the NNPC. NNPC holds regular meeting with the Chief of Navy Staff to review the operations. Just last week, the Chief Executive of the body was there to have a meeting with CNS just two days ago. The management team for the other one on downstream a regulatory authority. We are also there to have a meeting for us. If you want to make such allegations, bring the name simple, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? I don't always agree with Asari on some of his comments, but on these issues, we are on the same page. Army Force of Nigeria filled fat on oil thief in Nigeria. I am not a supporter of Asari Dokubo, but he is saying the truth. Without military, navy, civil defense and politicians, you can't steal oil in Nigeria. 
how many arrests were they made and how many persecuted by the Nigerian army and other security agencies. So Asari is saying the truth. We are all saying the same thing. Without the Navy, no one can steal oil. Remember Obi had said it earlier, that oil cannot move out without the Navy knowing about it. So if Asari did not mention names, you don't know the military officers are involved in the act. Why are you expecting Asari to mention names? A good commander will set up investigation panel instead of calling on the petitioner to do investigation for you. No form of information will be will be amount by someone without no reason. Asari Dokubo, he know or have knowledge of that before he bring it out. That is the truth. Um, Asari is very right and correct on this very one. The Navy asking Asari to name officers involved in oil theft is, is tactics expecting that what Asari said is true. Asari Dokubo is blackmailing our soldiers and Navy because he's seeking for appointment from his likes. Tunubu thief. Tunubu gave... <laughs> Let me leave that one. Someone said, Mr. Governor, I am sure Asari Dokubo cannot talk to that extent because of appointments, attacking military for that matter. He should know something going on. Let the job be is only a mischief spray. Who does the SSS schools? Peter Obi, Namdekano, Indigo, it is just to get a, a, a piece of a porridge meat from the federal government. That is all. I beg face the subject matter. Okay, that is not what we are talking about. So, guys, now see this matter. So, if they say they won't enter this matter, where where head go wrong. So, guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.